What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. In this video, I'll take you from start to end through the Dedalian quest, finding all 16 house tokens and placing them in, finishing the quest as well. Instead of showing you just all of the locations, for which you'll find timestamps in the description down below, I'll show you from the very start of the mission. So for this, we'll need to head to the Astronomy Wing, then the Transfiguration Courtyard to get started. And just outside, speak to Nelly. It's night time, so I'll wait for the day and then speak to them. Sorry, I'm just... I'm Nelly, by the way. I'm just so excited that the Dedalian keys are back. The what keys? The Dedalian keys. Surely you've seen them flying about. Rumor is that a former headmistress, Professor Mong, conjured them to protect the contents of certain locked cabinets years ago. Professor Black couldn't be bothered to disenchant the keys, and they appear every few years. You should try to catch one. Why would I do that? Each key will lead you to a locked cabinet somewhere in the castle. If you can manage to get the key into the cabinet lock, not an easy task, you may find a reward. Perhaps I'll give it a go. I hope you do. In fact, I think I heard one of the keys in the astronomy tower. You should listen for them. I hope you follow a the key. With it activated, we'll need to head if to the astronomy to tower all the way up there. So map the astronomy wing and to the astronomy tower up here. We'll head up. A Dedalian key. And oh, there's a Dedalian it. key flying around. So we'll simply follow it and this will take us to a short little simple challenge. There we go. The astronomy tower here has the first one of these. We'll unlock it and as soon as it flies over the center we'll need to hit space to smack it into the keyhole. Then we'll be given a house token. That's the first one of many that you'll be collecting through Hogwarts, so keep that in mind. Back to the Transfiguration Courtyard over here, we'll speak to Nelly outside. To follow one of the Dedalian keys. Hello Nelly, I managed to get a Dedalian key into its lock. Brilliant! What did you find in the cabinet? A curious token of some sort. Looks like some sort of house token. I bet it unlocks house chests. I call them house chests. I've seen the one in Gryffindor and heard they're also in the other common rooms as well. Keep an eye out. I do hope you continue on. Now we'll need to insert it into our house chest. Depending on what house you're on, this will be in a different location. I'm in Slytherin and Slytherin's location is at the Grand Staircase here, all the way at the bottom, the Slytherin common room. So I'm heading just back from here. Here's the house chest. I'll place it in and there's a ton more to get. Now, obviously, this quest will take some time to complete. There are 16 around the castle. Continuing with the astronomy wing, heading to the Defense of the Dark Arts classroom, we'll head straight down the stairs here on the right, and you'll see this rhino statue. Just in front of it is this key that flies around. We'll stand near it and follow the path, which will take us all the way up the stairs in this case. What are you up to now? Trade across and to the right here. We'll unlock the cabinet by simply smacking it in at the right time, and there we have the second one. I'll grab it. Sticking with classrooms, I'll open the map and head to the library annex to start the next one. The library annex, and in here, we'll go to the potions classroom. So, heading straight inside here, to the left, we should immediately see it flying around here. We'll stand nearby and follow it down the staircase here. You can already see the cabinet highlighted as we used Revelio. So we'll wait for it here and unlock this one. Bam. Now sticking with the library annex, we'll head to the map, then library annex, central hall. Here we'll go down the stairs and on our right hand side, just down here. Here it is. Now this one will follow up and around. Down the stairs here on this side, here's a puzzle door, and over here is the house cabinet. And that is number four. Then the library annex will once again head back to the central hall flu flame. You can of course just walk your way back up. From here we'll simply go up the stairs. On the left you'll find the cabinet, but we'll head further up here, and to the right here, we should find the key flying around. So we'll simply follow it back down to where we came from 
and when it eventually gets here, there we go. Now, from the library annex, we'll go across to the library. Just to the left, when we spawn in from here, you'll be able to see the cabinet. And across to the right, over here, will be the flying key. So we'll stand nearby it, and of course you can follow it around to the cabinet, and we'll put it in. We'll head to the bell tower wing, and the bell tower courtyard. I don't have this unlocked, so I'll quickly jog around to it. It's just above us anyways. There we go. From the flue flame here, we'll go up here. There's a scroll here. Then we'll go straight here, through here, and you'll already see this thing flying around. Here it is. Now we'll follow it up the staircase, all the way here, and here's the cabinet. We'll smack it in here. That's number seven. Opening the map once more, but this time to the Grand Staircase, we'll start at the Grand Staircase Tower. Over here by the main tower, we'll go down to the left, down past this puzzle door here, and there we go, we heard it flying around somewhere. There we go. From here, we'll follow it traveling down. This will go quite the distance. Now, when you come down and find this, off to the left is a puzzle door here. This is where we need to head. Just to the left of it is the cabinet. There's number eight. Now, keeping to the grand staircase, we'll head to the quad courtyard. I haven't been here yet, so I'll mark it. The next one will start here from the quad courtyard. Now, from this one, when we spawn in, there'll be this fountain here. We'll go up the stairs behind it here. And at the very top here, you'll already hear it flying around. This one will take us across, down the stairs that we just came up. To the back here. And here's the house cabinet. Bam. Number 10. The next one will travel to the Great Hall and the Great Hall. When we land up here, head out the doors behind you. One set, two sets. And the last set here, straight in front of us, we'll find the key flying around. We'll follow it down here. And just to the right, here's where it is. Yes. Bam, there we go. Number nine. Then heading back to the Great Hall, the Great Hall from the Flue Flame. We'll look towards the left here. Revenue. And you should already see it flying by the fireplace. We'll simply follow it. There's a puzzle door at the end there. And on the opposite side here, just up the stairs, is the cabinet. Bam, there we go, number 11. Next, we'll head to the south wing over here, and the faculty tower. From here, Clever. we'll go straight, How and to the store on the right here. Entering it, Revelium. using Revelium, you'll see the cabinet on the left hand side. For the key, we'll go up, Two flights, and here's the key, also a puzzle door. We'll simply head down and wait for it at the very bottom of here. Here it comes. There we go. Number 12. We'll go to the hospital wing. From here, we'll go down the staircase, which is next to the flue flame here, to the left. And when we do, we'll find the cabinet here. And across to the right, towards this clock mechanism, you'll find the key floating here. It'll take us back in, right to here. There we go. Right in. Number 13. For this 14th one, you'll need a Lohamora. So if you don't have the spell, you'll need to play a bit further into the story. In the description down below, you'll find a guide for that mission if you're interested. The south wing once more, then the clock tower courtyard. When we spawn in, just head to the door here, just to the left of this huge opening. We'll need a Lohamora to unlock it. So for this, we'll simply spin them around until the mechanism next to this starts spinning around. There we go. And the inside one as well. There. Now that we've unlocked it, we'll head inside. And heading up the stairs here. There's a book we can grab. And to the left, you can see the key here, right next to a secret door. We'll head into this here and head all the way up to the top. When we reach the top, you'll find the cabinet on the left. 
we'll quickly smack it in, and that's number 14. Now for these last two, you'll need the map room unlocked, so secret rooms and the map chamber. If you don't have this and you don't want spoilers, click off the video now and return later when you've done the mission and unlocked the map chamber. From here, behind us, we'll need to go up all the way to the top. There's a chest there. We'll head across and up once more, heading out. Then we'll head down the stairs straight and at the end of this passage here, you should find the key flying around. This will take us back across and to the cabinet here. That's number 15. Now for the 16th one, we'll head away from this cabinet, straight back to where we found the key. So down here, the left, and the key is flying around the statue here. So we'll follow it up the staircase. And here's the cabinet. We'll quickly smack it in, and there we go. We've found all 16 house tokens. Now we'll need to deposit them all back in our house chest. So obviously this will be different for you depending on what house you're in. I'm in Slytherin, so I'll head to the grand staircase all the way to the Slytherin common room at the bottom. We'll head back and place all of the tokens in the house chest here. You'll need to spam this 16 times or 15 times if you've already put one in. Done. Time to see what's inside. Now it'll spin and unlock. After a quick bit of brute forcing, bam. Now that it's open, we've received our house clothes. Now we simply just need to speak with Nelly once more. So we'll head back to the map, the astronomy wing, and to the transfiguration courtyard. Dedalian keys? Hello, Nelly. Actually, I found all of the keys and opened my house chest. Oh, wonderful. What did you find? I found a rather interesting costume. Brilliant. Whew. Well, thank you for solving that mystery for me. I always wondered what those keys would lead to. And now we're done with this quest, a rather long one indeed, if you don't do it all in one go. The Dedalian keys is now complete. Thank you all for watching, my name is Me Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!